Hey, hey, hey. So I uh, just wanted to first off say happy Black History Month. And uh, then secondly, hello to everyone that is new to the channel. Um, I am so excited that you're here. The channel has grown since just in the, in the past month or so. And so thank you so much for supporting the channel. Um, just giving my channel a peep and see what's going on. Um, and if you haven't already, I, I did post a video several weeks ago talking about some of the changes to the channel, but I'm still a gardening channel. It's just I'm, I'm adding a little bit of uh, this and a little bit of that because for the past six months, um, since the pursuit of purchasing a 10 acre farm, I have uh, really learned a ton about uh, farming, agriculture, um, all the aspects of agriculture, developed tons of relationships um, with all kinds of people from all different backgrounds, learned a lot of resources. And so what I'm trying to do is share um, and be very transparent about most of what I've, uh, everything that I can remember, okay, that has been happening in the last six months. Um, and I also didn't put out a whole lot of videos. So this is kind of catch up time for me as we go into the next growing season. Um, and so because it's Black History Month, though, I do want to share some stuff about, about uh, Black uh, history in relation to agriculture. Um, I am learning a ton about history. Um, in America, history globally, but specifically uh, Black history in, re in regards to agriculture. And so I want to share some of that with you all this month. And um, also to make the announcement that on Saturday, I will have another panel discussion. Thank you to everyone that engaged in, the, in my first ever panel discussion um, last Saturday. Um, it We got a, a ton of great feedback. Um, some people sent some emails. Um, I've had friends and family and um, constituents um, also watch and, and send me text messages. And um, the majority of the comments were that it, it was a very bold and brave of me to, to uh, you know, encourage a conversation um, in such a way that we did in the last panel. But people are doing it everywhere. Uh, but I, I accept that compliment because I am trying to be more bold and brave about my own personal thoughts, experiences, and very transparent about my own personal thoughts, experiences as well. And so thank you all for just engaging. Of course, there are a few people that had other comments, but that's okay. You're entitled to your opinion. Um, but please know that it's all for the benefit of the community. We just, if we're really going to get to know each other and work together, I feel like there's some things that just need to be put out on the street. Right. And, um, and I think it helps us to grow together even more if we allow these experiences to, to help us grow. And so anyway, um, today I want to share about Fanny Lou Hammer. I think it's how you pronounce her last name. It might be Hammer. Um, but she was a pioneer in Black history. Hey, Missy. Good afternoon. Um, in regards to agriculture. So in the description, I provided some additional information about her that I'm not going to say in this video. So please check that out. There are links to the actual pages where I got the information. And I'm also um, going to read uh, an excerpt from the book Farming While Black. You all have heard me talk about that the past couple of weeks uh, by Leah Penniman. Um, and she provides some information about Fanny uh, Lou Hammer as well. And so I want to share that. Um, one of the things that I have always been taught um, it, since I was a kid was that farming was done, uh, it was conducted in rural areas. So urban farming, urban gardening, um, and the like is new to a lot of people. And so I hope that, um, you know, throughout the next few lives that I can kind of bring to light what that looks like. So farming doesn't have to look one way. Um, and you don't have to do everything one way. There is really no right way, but there is a lot of suggestions on what you can do. And so you just get to make up your mind about that. Um, but one of the things that I'm excited about is how much um, African-Americans contributed 
to the culture here, not only in America, but in agriculture. And so I kind of want to bring that to light as well. So let me share this little excerpt from the book Farming While Black. Uh, please read the description. And, you know, of course, you can Google more about Fannie Mae. Or not Fannie Mae, Lord Jesus. Fannie Lou Hammer. <laughs> OK, as we go. And then I'll be done. Uh, thank you all for joining me. Fannie Lou Hammer was the granddaughter of enslaved Africans and the daughter of sharecroppers in the Mississippi Delta. Hammer was tricked into picking cotton when she was only six years old and then forced by the plantation owner to continue picking once he had seen that she was capable. Um, she later worked as the plantation's timekeeper, keeping official records of the number of bale uh, sharecroppers had picked, the numbers of bales that the sharecroppers had picked. Realizing that the plantation owner had adjusted the scales to maximize his profit, Hammer uh, set the scales right. In that act, she became a rebel, later reflecting that I didn't know what to do, and all I could do is rebel, in the only way I could rebel. While Hammer is best known for her organize, organizing with the Mississippi Freedom Democratic Party, her rebellion extended to food and agriculture. In 1969, Hammer founded the Freedom Farm Cooperative on 40 acres of Prime Delta land. Her goal was to empower poor black farmers and sharecroppers who had suffered at the mercy of white landowners. She said, the time has come now when we are going to have to get what we need ourselves. We may get a little help here and there, but in the main, we're going to have to do it ourselves. The co-op consisted of 1,500 families who planted cash crops like soybean and cotton, as well as mixed vegetables. They purchased another 640 acres and started a pig bank that distributed livestock to black farmers. The farm grew into a multifaceted self-help organization providing scholarships, home building assistance, and commercial kitchen, and a commercial kitchen, a garment factory, a tool bank, agricultural training, and burial fees to its members. So that's just a little excerpt from the book Farming While Black on Fannie Lou Hamer. And of course, you can Google more information if you would like. I just wanted to share that with you all. Hi, the everyday life. Hey, how you doing? Hi, Amy. Yes, you're so welcome. Yes, thank you. Um, so that's all I wanted to do was share some facts about Black history as it relates to agriculture. You have a great day. Bye.